Planet Dolan. What price was piece of art was almost melted down for 500 bucks a scrap. What art museum is still missing a half billion dollars worth of art? From musical instruments to skyscrapers, here are 15 of the most expensive things ever stolen. I'm Danger Dolan, and today I will be your narrator. Number 15. The Mona Lisa, one of the most famous pieces of art in history, is the subject of one of the most famous art heists in history. In 1911, a Louvre employee hid out in the broom closet until after hours, then simply just straight up removed the painting from its frame and just walked out. The painting wasn't recovered until two years later, but the theft itself skyrocketed the Mona Lisa's popularity to the point where people lined up just to see the empty space where the Mona Lisa was stolen from. For two years, it was the most famous piece of blank wall ever. Number 14. This is one of two priceless Stradivarius violins stolen in the last few decades. Only 550 violins still exist by the most famous violin maker of all time. Erica Morini had her priceless violin stolen from her apartment as she was on her deathbed in 1995 and died not knowing it had been stolen. The theft remains on the FBI's list of top 10 crimes against art. Number 13. Ruby Slippers. These worn by Judy Garland in The Wizard of Oz are perhaps the most iconic pair of shoes in American history. Several pairs worn during the filming of the movie are known to exist, but one pair was stolen from the Judy Garland Museum in 2005 and still hasn't turned up. Another pair sits in the Smithsonian, but the missing pair is estimated to be worth between 2 and 3 million bucks. Number 12. Dinosaurs. There are actually so many instances of this, it's hard to single out one of them. Students and amateur paleontologists frequently make off with bones and footprints from federal grounds and try selling them at auction. There is a massive black market for dinosaur fossils, so much so that even Nicolas Cage got tied up in it. In 2007, Cage paid 276000 bucks, outbidding Leonardo DiCaprio, for a dinosaur skull that, it turns out, was stolen from the Mongolian government. He returned the skull in 2015 after learning of the circumstances. Man, I wish I had 276000 bucks to just throw away on a bone. Number 11. The Nativity with St. Francis and St. Lawrence hung up in its place in Palermo, Italy for almost 350 years. Then, one day in 1969, it was gone. Thieves used a razor to cut the painting out of its frame in 1969 and it hasn't been seen since. Never appeared on the international black market, so investigators believe it's still in Italy, but no trace of it in nearly 50 years has most believing the $20 million piece is lost forever. Number 10. Fabrage eggs. These extravagant pieces of art crafted for the Russian royal family were pretty well scattered across the world after the Bolshevik Revolution. Three of them are still undiscovered, but others turned up in the strangest of places. One was found during a routine traffic stop in France near the Swiss border, another was bought from a scrap metal dealer by a guy who was hoping to melt it down for 500 bucks before finding out it was worth 33 million. Number 9. The theft of Rembrandt's 1630 self-portrait sounds like something you see in a movie. The thieves car-bombed the National Museum in Stockholm, Sweden, then stormed it with machine guns. After stealing three paintings worth 30 million, they escaped on a motorboat. All three paintings were found again in raids within the next five years. Number 8. The Cellini Salt Cellar is considered the Mona Lisa of sculptures. It's a gold-plated sculpture worth about 60 million bucks. The thief, Robert Meng, held onto the sculpture for three years and tried to ransom it back to the Vienna Museum he had stolen it from for 12 million bucks. Not only did that not work, but he was caught after security footage showed him buying the cell phone he used to text the authorities about his random attempt. Number 7. This 3,000 copper bell stolen from a Buddhist monastery in Tacoma, Washington never had a real value placed on it, as the monks there simply called it priceless. The bigger issue is how a thief managed to make off with a 3,000 pound bell. The general consensus is that he just drove a forklift up to it. It was eventually recovered, along with a number of other stolen items and vehicles. It wasn't hard to find, because it's a 3,000 pound bell. Number 6. The Hope Diamond is likely more famous for bringing misfortune than it is for simply existing. Originally among the French crown jewels, it was stolen during the revolution in 1792 and bounced around a bunch because everybody who had it seemed to go broke and sell it. It now sits in the Smithsonian, which seems to be done just fine. Number 5. 
Iraqi artifacts. After the upheaval of Saddam Hussein, thousands of historical artifacts were looted from museums in Iraq. ISIS and other terror groups have made millions on the sale of some of these artifacts on the black market, although there are several black market dealers with no connection to terrorism. The Green family, owners of Hobby Lobby, were recently found to have paid 1.6 million bucks and lied to US customs agents about smuggling some of these stolen goods into their personal collection. Number 4 what Teresa Romert considers a closet, several families would consider a series of roomy apartment spaces. And in 2014, thieves stole what they thought was a million dollars worth of merchandise from her Shrine of Excess. But it turns out a fair bit of that collection is just cheap counterfeit crap. Number 3. The Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum. It's not like the thief stole the entire museum, but in 1990, a heist at the museum in Boston resulted in 13 pieces of art being stolen. It remains the biggest art heist in history in which the art still hasn't been recovered, and the missing pieces total about a half billion dollars. A ten million dollar award is currently available for information on the stolen artwork, which includes the concert, thought to be the most valuable unrecovered painting in the world at 200 million bucks. Number 2 Edvard Munch's The Scream is another of the most recognisable works of art in the world today. As such, it has been stolen twice and recovered both times. It was stolen in 1994 and recovered in 1996, then stolen again in 2004 and recovered again in 2006. The 2004 heist also involved another Munch piece, the Madonna. Two paintings together were estimated to be worth over a hundred million dollars. Number one. The entire Empire State Building. In an unusual bit of investigative journalism, the New York Daily News literally stole the Empire State Building in 2008 simply to make a point. They dropped some fake documents filled with bogus names and the city of New York turned over ownership of the famous $2 billion skyscraper to Nellots Properties LLC, which Nellots is stolen backwards. The whole process took 90 minutes. They returned the deed on Tuesday, but not before writing a story about how embarrassingly easy the whole thing was. So guys, what's the most expensive theft you've ever seen or heard? Let us know in the comment section down below, pin our favorite to the top. This video was made possible by our fans over on Patreon. Thanks for your support, guys. That is it for this countdown. Have a good one!